Adding spots of color to a black and white image can make for an interesting effect, and it's easy to do. I'll show you how. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.0.4. This is our photo, which will convert to black and white. I find starting with a color image best. Adding color to a black and white image can be done. Affinity Photo, as far as I know, does not have a tool for colorizing black and white images. I have seen examples of people doing it manually, but the results were not great. And I'm guessing an automated colorization tool would not be great either. Just my opinion, of course. I could be wrong. Let's begin by adding a black and white adjustment. Click on the Adjustments icon at the bottom of the Layers panel, and select Black and White from the drop-down menu. Let's adjust it a bit. I'll take the red and the yellow down a little. That looks good. We'll bring back the color of her fingernails and of some of the sparkles on her eyelids, leaving the rest of the photo black and white. To do this, we need to apply a mask to the black and white adjustment layer. Once the mask is applied, we'll paint on it with a black brush, which will render the black and white adjustment invisible wherever we paint, allowing the color background layer to show through. If we make a mistake, we can undo it by painting over it with a white brush, which will make the black and white adjustment visible again. I'll demonstrate as we go along. Now click on the mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select mask from the drop down menu. To apply the mask to the black and white adjustment, we need to drag it over the black and white adjustment until the black and white adjustment's thumbnail becomes highlighted and then release it. Expand the black and white adjustment layer by clicking on the little greater than sign and make sure the mask is selected. We'll do all our painting on the mask. Before we begin painting, we need to select a brush type. First select the paintbrush tool by clicking on it over here. Now to the brushes tab in the layers panel to select the brush type. If you don't see a brushes tab, select brushes from the window menu. There should be a check mark beside it. For this demonstration, I want a solid brush with a fuzzy outline, which would be a soft brush. From the drop-down, I'll select Masking. This one here looks good, so I'll select it by clicking on it. Now click on the Layers tab so we can see our layers. Next, I want to make sure brush hardness is zero and opacity and flow are both 100%. Hardness of zero makes for a soft, fuzzy brush outline as opposed to a sharp, hard outline. And setting flow and opacity to 100% will allow us to reveal all of the color background layer with just a few strokes of the brush, saving us some time. Now we need to select the brush color. We'll use black since we want the color background layer to show through wherever we paint. Black will render the black and white adjustment invisible. We set the brush color over here. It's already set to black, so we're ready to go. I'll start with the fingernails. I'm going to zoom right in by holding down the command key and tapping the plus sign key. In Windows, use control plus sign. That looks good. I'll adjust the brush size by using the square bracket keys and begin painting. A small brush size is best for this. Be sure to paint slowly. The high flow and opacity makes the work a lot easier. I painted outside the nail, so I'll change the brush color to white by clicking on the white circle here, and then paint over my mistake to undo it. We're using a soft brush, so you may have to increase the brush size to erase the error more easily. I'll change the brush color back to black. We're zoomed in pretty close, so if something doesn't look quite right, try zooming out to a normal viewpoint by pressing Command-0 or Control-0 in Windows to see what it looks like before deciding if it's a mistake worth fixing.
Okay, all the nails are done. Let's zoom out to see what it looks like. That's looking pretty good. Now let's zoom into the eyes. We'll bring back the color of some of the sparkles. We'll need a really tiny brush for this, so I'll reduce the brush size using the bracket keys and start painting. Okay, I think we're done. Let's zoom back out by pressing Command-0, Control-0 on Windows, and see how it looks. All right, that looks cool. Not a bad effect at all. Let me quickly demonstrate how to do the opposite. That is, add spots of black and white to a color photo. I'll delete the mask by making sure it's selected and then clicking on the trash can at the bottom of the layers panel. Now we'll apply an empty mask to the black and white adjustment. Click on the mask icon and select empty mask from the drop down. I'll drag the empty mask over to black and white adjustment until the thumbnail is highlighted and release it. Our photo is in color again because the empty mask has rendered the black and white adjustment invisible. I'll make sure the empty mask is selected. Now, wherever you want black and white, just paint with a white brush. I'll change the brush color to white and increase the brush size and paint across her face. And to fix a mistake, just change the brush color to black to undo it. And there you go. Thank you for watching.